let's check it's jelly broke or not so as you can see uh, it's jelly broken the device yeah. hello guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can jelly break your uh, ios 6 devices so if you have any uh, device running on ios 6 so you can jelly break using this method so in my previous video i have shown how you can downgrade your iphone 4 s to ios 6.1.3 so as you can see i am running ios 6.1.3 so now i am trying to jelly break this device but it's really hard to jelly break ios 6.1.3 because there is no support also you can't really use windows 10 or 11 because you have to download something apps from the previous version previous version of itunes otherwise it will not work so today i'm going to use windows 11 machine so and the software will be i'm going to use will be description below you can uh, download those from here so as you can see i have i'm running i was 6.133 and i haven't jelly broken yet so let's uh, jump into the tutorial first of all uh, if you have installed any kind of uh, itunes you you really need to uh, uninstall it so you can go to control panel and and you have to uninstall all the things like which have whichever have apple.inc so you have to uninstall one this 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 and this and also itunes then uh, yeah whatever uh, then you have to go your file and also in the music if you have any itunes folder you have to delete it then you have to install this itunes the version i'm showing you so this itunes I have tune version 11.1.5 so the link will be description below you can download it from here and also you have to download uh, poxy spawn um, the latest version of it 1.0.8 so after that you have to install itunes so after installing itunes you don't you no need to um, open it just open just right click on poxy spawn and the poxy spawn will come as a zip zip file so you have to extract it then you will find this fold file then you have to go here and you have to go to properties so if you go to properties then compatibility mode then you have to uh, run it as a compatibility mode and you can select windows 7 so from or uh, anything else whichever you work with your device so after that you just uh, double click on it and run it and connect your device yeah, it should detect your device so as you can see the jelly break option appeared here so jelly break option if it doesn't show you jelly break option then what you have to do is that you have to go to your search again search device manager and there will be you are in the cl words um, option the usb composite device and there will be yellow mark that means the driver is not installed properly so what you have to do is just click on that and you have to click on update driver and search for automatic then you have to search the device on windows update so then it will check the windows update and it will give you the driver then you have to install it and restart your device then you have to uh, open the foxy spawn again and try it again so now as you can see it's connected my device so let's uh, click on jelly brick it may take little time As you can see, it's have started the jailbreaking process. Mm, the wheel is spinning here, so let's see how long it takes. So it's doing the process now. It may take little time. I don't know how much it will take because I haven't jailbroken yet. Mm -hmm. I was six. So let's see.
so it's nearly done so let's see i think it will finish now and it says it's done let's see it's jelly broken device or not so my phone is not booting up let's see how long it takes Oh, as you can see it's booted up let's check it's jelly broken or not so as you can see uh, it's jelly broken the device and the CDI is installed here let's open it it will take little bit time so as you can see we have done, done the jelly broken process so if you have any device running on iOS 6 or 6.1.32 or 6.1.6 you can jelly break your device using this method so thank you very much for watching see you next time